Hi Bulk Beasts, welcome back to Game of Bulk Reviews. Today we're reviewing the German powerhouse Level Up. We're going to get you up to speed with the brand, take a look over the ingredients and then finally do a taste test. I'll also make sure to do a comparison with other brands with a similar flavor to see which one is best. But that's it, let's get on with it. The company focuses on making any drinks that are focused on mental performance and energy, without the need of any sugar. All of the products are targeted towards gamers or people in general that are looking to get shit done. Level Up has done a bunch of collaborations and partnerships with different European streamers and esport athletes. This in turn has really brought the brand forward and has made an impact on the European gaming market. And now overall is one of the bigger energy drink brands in Germany overall. Level Up have also sponsored and collaborated with G2 Esports by sponsoring tournaments and events and such. Overall, Level Up has become a household brand focused on making sufficient energy drinks that are, will help you throughout your game, your workday, or through a stream. The company's popular collaborations with different entertainers has also brought the brand forward and really made an impact on the European market, especially Germany. So to all the gamers in Europe and Germany, you probably know the deal right now. So yeah, that is Level Up. Hope you're up to speed on the brand. Now, let's take a closer look at their ingredients. So, first up, a quick warning with this brand. Apparently, they have two different amounts of caffeine, which differs from flavor to flavor. I know, right? Weird. For one flavor, you can have 200 milligrams, while in other flavors you have 250 milligrams, which in itself is quite an insane amount, I know. So my tip for you, if you're looking to get some after this video, or if you're inspired to get some, you really gotta check out the product page of each flavor and look at the fine print of the ingredients on the amount you get, because it's not a set caffeine amount for the energy versions of this flavor. So yeah, between 200 to 250 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Quite an insane amount, but uh, I don't know why they differ. Quite a hassle if you ask me. At least make it so we can filter on it from your website. Now with the caffeine amount or amounts, should I say, out of the way, here's the rest of the ingredients. You can stop the video and check for yourself if you want to, but the main gist with Level Up is their high amounts of caffeine together with a daily value of vitamin B12, taurine and 1000 milligrams of L-tyrosine. Most flavors uh, differ a lot, but uh, almost all of them contains Sholim bitter trait and leaf and seed extracts as well. So overall, if you take a look at their ingredients, it's nothing fancy really. No super enhancing active ingredients, but they sure pack a punch with 200 to 250 milligrams of caffeine per serving. So yeah, be mindful of that and uh, don't drink too much of it. But one serving really will kick you up a notch, let's just say. Now for the most important part of the video, the taste test. Up first, Shiny Dragon. This is supposed to taste like dragon fruit and lychee. You're supposed to use 500 milliliters with one of these samples, but um, these uh, shakers only go up to 400 milliliters. I added some more water, like so it's like 450 or so. But yeah, just pay that in mind. Nice color, right? Cyan almost. Very sweet, uh, I kind of like it. It's got a small hint of uh, dragon fruit and a sort of aftertaste that tastes like lychee. I really like it. Very sweet and enjoyable and uh, don't get too boring. I would put this on a tier list on um, A. I really enjoyed it. Up next, Neon Edition. Supposed to taste like blueberry lemonade. Nice green, almost bluish color. Oh yeah, a sweet blueberry flavor followed by a tangy, almost bitter lemonade taste. I quite enjoy it. Don't know if it's on the same scale as the first one, but uh, low A. Shiny Fox, sour peach rings and lime. Nice light blue color. Hmm, reminds me of um, those blue sour uh, 
bottle candies, these ones. Uh, I quite enjoy it, quite mild sour flavor to it, uh, and I do enjoy it, but uh, yeah, B tier, high B. Golden fruits, which is exotic fruits. Looks almost like orange juice, that's nice. This had a kind of weird aftertaste that I'm not really sure of. It's quite bitter, like the peel of an orange almost. Yeah, like D tier, C tier, I don't know. It wasn't really for me, but yeah, some of you guys might enjoy it. Doing a flavor review of all the regular level up flavors. Let's get it. So now we're going to do a taste comparison of most of these other blue raspberry flavors from different brands. Here we got G Fuel, Sour Blue Shug Rug, which is supposed to taste like sour blue raspberry. Then we have Dubby with a big energy tears, Blue Ras. And here we have Blue Ras from Gamers Ups, funny enough. Ghost Gamer, Blue Raspberry. And last but not least, Juju. And right here we have our candidate for today, Level Up. So let's see how it compares and then I'll try and rate them on a scale here from best to worst. We'll start off with Juju. I really like Juju's Blue Raspberry. It's very mild and uh, uh, very easy to drink. You don't get tired of it very easily because it's not super sour or bitter or anything. That's just slightly sweet. Let's compare it to Ghost, which before has got um, very positive reviews from uh, both me and Alex here, as it's got a very good taste. And it still does. So what we'll do here is we'll put this one up. You know what, we'll save this for last. Now we have Blue Ras from Gamers Ups. It's very mild and overly sweet, I would say. If you're into very sweet flavors, uh, this would be for you. But to me, it's not a very berry-like taste. It's more of a blue rasp candy type of flavor. So I will uh, keep it here for now because I think both Juju and uh, Ghost taste better. Now let's see. Dubby. Mm -mm. Dubby has a slight sour taste to it. That's very mild and smooth. So it fits perfectly with the blue raspberry, which is a very smooth flavor. Uh, with a slightly tangy and a sweet flavor to it. So I would probably say it's better than Blue Ras. It's better than Juju. I would say so, yes. But I know for a fact it's not better than Ghost. Sour Blue Shug Rug, G Fuel. It's slightly more sour and um, a bit bitter. So it pulls on your cheeks a bit more, which is for me is better then Gamer Subs, which is overall just super sweet. Got more to it, so to say. Is it better than uh, Juju? I don't think so. I think Juju has a better berry flavor, which is what I'm looking for in a blue raspberry flavor. Tastes subjective, but for me, a blue rasp is supposed to taste like the berry. And uh, I actually think these ones here does so much better. Now, level up. How does it compare to the rest? Hmm, I would say level up. It's got a very mild flavor. It's not a strong flavor overall. I gotta say that Blue Ras has a very much stronger sweet, and sweet flavor compared to this one. So it's really up for debate if you want a very sweet flavor, or I would put Gamer Subs over it. But if you're looking for a more subtle Blue Ras flavor, I would probably put level up above that but it's really all about what you're looking for with a blue rasp flavor but i gotta say that neither level up or gamer subs to me have a very strong berry flavor these last three here are more of a candy type of blue rasp flavor uh, very artificial sure the other ones are artificial as well but they've done a better job at it in my opinion so yeah this is the final rankings i would say i still think Ghost does a better job with blue rasp flavor, followed by Dubby, which is a very subtle and tasty blue rasp flavor, followed by Juju, G Fuel, Level Up, and then Blue Raspberry. But I wouldn't put Gamers Ups last. I would just say that uh, Level Up and Gamers Ups share last place because it really depends on what you're looking for in the moment. If you're looking for very sweet, 
almost overly sweet flavor, I would pick Gamer Subs. If you're looking for a more subtle flavor, I would pick Level Up. But yeah, this is the final rankings. So, to summarize, I would say the main gist with Level Up is their high caffeine amounts, which is more so than almost all other gaming drink brands out there, especially formulated drinks. So yeah, if you're one of those gamers that really crave your caffeine amounts and really don't feel like caffeine has any kick for you with like Red Bull and all that, give this a try. It would really kick you in the ass, I promise you. They have a lot of flavors that differs, but overall their ingredients are not much to talk home about, in all honesty. A lot of variety with their flavors and uh, a nice design and uh, good serving amounts with one serving going with 500 ml of water, so you get a lot of beverage for one serving as well, which is a nice treat as well. But yeah, I would say the main gist with Level Up is the amount of caffeine you get. That's my point on it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Level Up review. Be sure to subscribe to get notified whenever we upload new reviews. We do a lot of reviews here from different brands and flavors whenever they drop. This has been your boy Felix, and as always, Gamebook out. Come on.